Hi guys, welcome to the Ardor server. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Dell system update repository in CentOS 8. This procedure equally applies to CentOS 7 as well as the equivalent Red Hat Enterprise Linux distributions like RHEL 8 and RHEL 7. Afterwards, once we have the repository installed, I'm going to show you how to install the DSU or the Dell system update utility, as well as OMSA, which is the open manage system administrator. And I'll give you a quick kind of guide to what that tool does for you. All right. So to get started here, I have a Dell R630 where I have a fresh install of CentOS 8.2, I believe. And it's a minimal install with maybe a few little things I added, but otherwise it is pretty bare minimum. So we're going to start from there and you can follow along in this uh, procedure. But first thing I wanna show you is this particular URL. This is linux.dell.com slash repo slash hardware slash DSU. I'll leave this link in the video description for you in case you wanna copy it from there. But basically all of the steps I wanna show you today are documented here. And in fact, I'm gonna copy one of the URLs we're gonna need once we log into the system from here. All right, let's go ahead and log in to the iDRAC. All right, so as you can see here, the iDRAC currently does not uh, know which operating system or operating system version is running here. And so in order for that to work, you need to install these OMSA tools that basically communicate with the iDRAC and kind of provide operating system level information to the iDRAC system. So what I'm gonna do here is launch the remote console just so I can get the IP address because right now I cannot see that here. Once I get the IP address, I'm going to log in via SSH and then we'll kind of continue on from the SSH terminal. All right, so I'm logged in here and this shows me that I am on IP address 219. All right, so I don't need that anymore. All right, with that information, let's go over to the terminal and go ahead and log in to 219. And I'll escalate my privileges to root and the first thing I want to do is download that script where I copied that URL from uh, that Dell website. So I'll use curl dash capital O. All right, so this downloads this bootstrap.cgi script, which is basically a bash uh, shell script. So we'll run it with bash and that will ask us to import the Dell uh, GPG key. So we'll go ahead and say yes to that. All right, and so at this point, if we go into Etsy's yum.repos.d, we should see the Dell repository configuration file here. All right, so there it is. Uh, let's go ahead and just make sure that um, we can see that. So I think we can do DNF repo list. And indeed, we see the Dell system update repositories for dependent and independent. All right, so that's basically all you need to do to get the Dell repository installed in CentOS 8. But uh, from this point on, let's go ahead and install the uh, DSU utility, which allows you to update the BIOS and all that stuff in a very simple manner, as well as the open manage uh, server administrator, the OMSA. So all you have to do at this point is do DNF install, uh, Dell system update. All right, and there you have it. Then the DSU utility should be available. Let's check that, yep. All right, so we have DSU available. Let's also go ahead and install Open Manage or the, uh, yeah, the OMSA. So that is DNF install SRV admin dash all. And this will basically install all the uh, packages that are part of OMSA, which will also, by the way, include a tool called Rack ADM, which will allow you from within the operating system to communicate to the iDRAC. I would go ahead and say yes. All right, so now OMSA is installed and I believe we should have the Rack ADM tool. Oop. Uh, we might have to log out and get the path in there, but all right. Um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let me log out, and we'll log back in. All right, so there's the rack ADM tool, and so we could run commands like rack ADM get 
uh, nick config and that will tell us the idrac network configuration all right so that's this tells us that the idrac is currently configured at ip address.229 so there's a variety of other functions that are available to you once you have these tools installed but all right let's get back to the dsu so the dsu just a real quick introduction dsu-i will gather inventory on the system so it'll tell you what you have so we'll go ahead and do that this command does take a while so i'm going to let it run and it'll come back six and a half hours later hey guys so it's actually been several hours later as you can tell from what you see on the screen here uh running dsu-i i ended up encountering an unexpected error where it says inventory file not found and at first i wasn't really sure what was causing this because i've i've run this command before and on other systems and have not encountered this error before and so anyway i just decided to kind of stop the video there and go uh, try to figure out what uh, was causing this problem and then you know I had dinner and stuff like that so uh, several hours is like i think about seven eight hours later now i finally figured out what was causing this and so i wanted to share that with you guys in case some of you guys might be uh, running into the same problem all right so this is caused by a missing uh utility basically the tar command is required here and unfortunately dell's uh, packaging for dsu did not require uh, the tar command which it probably should have so anyway once we install the tar command this should actually work again so i'm going to go ahead and do that so i'm going to do uh, dnf install tar dash y okay so we're going to try this dsu dash i again and this time it should work All right, so you can see that the DSU utility went through the entire system and collected the various firmware versions and BIOS versions and all that stuff. So I have BIOS 2.11.0, the various firmwares here uh, from the SSDs, it looks like, and the firmware from the HPA 330 mini controller. All right, so, that's the dash I, which basically just collects inventory. Now, if you actually want to update the firmwares and all that other stuff, you can do a dash U uh, for update. So we're gonna go ahead and, and run that and see if it uh, finds anything we need to update. All right, guys, so it looks like there is an update for the iDRAC, it looks like. And so you'll see this menu where you basically there's this uh, space with the square brackets. If it's empty, it means it's not selected. If there's a star, it means it's, uh, or asterisk, it means it's selected. And um, yeah, so anyway, and you can basically pick these. So I'm gonna pick A. So that's gonna just select everything, which is only one thing at this point, but all right. And so now you'll see that we have an asterisk under IDRAC. And then I'm gonna go um, type in C for commit. And so it'll go ahead and apply that update. So by the way, in previous videos, I've sh shown you guys how to update your BIOS and firmwares and stuff like that through different types of methods. In the 11th gen series, uh, the R710, for example, and even the R410, I showed you how to, how to manually download all the different updates. And a lot of that was kind of revolving around the fact that Dell doesn't uh, store the updates for the 11th gen and older uh, servers now because they're end of life. And so you kind of have to manually get them. Um, I've also shown you guys on the 12th gen and newer systems, you can go into the lifecycle controller to update all the uh, firmware and BIOS and stuff like that. And that's a very convenient way to do this in case you don't have an OS installed yet, or if maybe there's a problem with the OS or something like that, or just, you know, you, you're starting with a blank system and you just don't have anything installed yet. Now, this is kind of a third method to update all the uh, BIOS and firmwares as well, but this does require that you have an operating system installed and you have to install this DSU or the Dell uh, system update utility. So 
uh, it is a very convenient way to do it because it will uh, basically collect all the different updates and run them in the correct order for you. And so that's a little bit like the iDRAC uh, lifecycle controller. And so this is probably one of the more convenient ways to do all the updates in one shot versus having to download them manually and run them one by one. All right, so this is gonna take a little bit of time. I'm gonna let it run. We'll probably uh, fast forward through this section and then I'll come back when this is all ready. All right, guys, so you can see that the firmware updates successfully completed. So, but anyway, I just wanted to show you basically how DSU works. And of course, this was just one simple update. It, if you have multiple updates, it will do all of them in one shot for you. So it, like I said, it's a very convenient way to update your system uh, once you have your operating system installed and then have this DSU utility installed. All right, so that's the end of the kind of quick guide to how DSU works, basically. All right, guys, so next up, let's go ahead and check out OMSA, which is Dell's Open Managed System Administrator. Earlier when we installed the SRV admin dash all, that installed OMSA along with a bunch of other utilities. So over here in the server information on the web uh, UI for the iDRAC, you can now see that it identifies the operating system, the uh, version of the operating system, the kernel we're, we're booting and stuff like that. So this information is gathered from those uh, tools that were installed as part of the OMSA stuff and that communicates that back to the iDRAC and that's why the iDRAC is now able to have a little bit of visibility into the operating system itself. Okay, so in addition to that, OMSA actually has its own web interface. And if we look at, let's take a look here. So you will see that there's this DSMOM uh, underscore con services and it's listening on port uh, 1311. That is the port for OMSA. Now, however, before we connect to that port, I have to open up the firewall because uh, the firewall on this machine by default is, is on and that port is not open. So we'll go ahead and do that first. And so the port is 1311 TCP. All right, and we'll reload the firewall so that that rule gets loaded. All right, so with that done, we can go to the browser. Let's open up a new um, tab here and I believe we are at 219 colon 1311. So this should get us to the web interface. Okay, so there's obviously a self-signed certificate. So we'll go ahead and accept that. All right, so this is Dell's Open Manage web interface. It looks almost identical to the iDRAC interface. Um, Theme-wise, obviously, it's you know instead of saying iDRAC, it says Open Manage up here. But and the login is actually an account on the system um, within the operating system. So with iDRAC, there's the separate accounts that are specific to iDRAC. These accounts are the accounts that are on. Um, or that are created within the operating system. So I have a art of server account. So that should be able to get me in. All right, so once you're logged in here, it gives you some visibility into the hardware of the system. And a lot of this stuff you can also see from within the iDRAC as well, but we'll just kind of take a look around. So here's main chassis, we can click on that and It'll tell us basically health of all the various sensors. Everything is green, so that's all good. We can click on information. It gives us some information about the iDRAC versions and that kind of stuff. Uh, system components uh, gives us the serial numbers and part numbers to a variety of components, so the power supplies and that type of stuff. And 
front panel. Yeah, so this is nothing that exciting here, but um, some of these things are, you'll also find them within the iDRAC interface as well. So we can go here, look at battery information. So CMOS battery is good. We can look at BIOS and fans, firmware. Okay, it just gives us the firmware information for the iDRAC there. Hardware performance. System board power optimized status is normal. I don't really know what that means. Um, intrusion is probably just the intrusion sensor. The chassis is closed right now. Okay, we can look at memory. Okay, so this gives us a little bit more interesting information that I don't know that the iDRAC interface will tell you, but it tells you how much memory is in the system, uh, which DIMM slots are occupied, and uh, the size of the DIMMs. So we can go to network. And so this identifies the four network ports that we have, um, the description of them and their connection status. And ports tells us the statuses of serial and USB ports, power management. So this tells, gives us some information about the power supplies and that type of stuff. This information I believe is also available with, from within the iDRAC web interface as well. And processor, so yeah, I only have one processor in this machine right now. We can go down to slots. This will tell us what is in the PCI slots and some of the other embedded components as well. And I wonder if you can click on this. Yep, so, well, nothing that interesting. It just says it's a Broadcom LSI card. And temperatures. All right, everything looks good there. Voltages. And again, everything looks good there. All right, so that's under main uh, system chassis. We'll also take a quick look under software. So this is really just operating system information it looks like or should be let's see yep okay so yeah this is just telling us the operating system which is centos linux and the version and under storage let's take a look at that okay so under storage it tells us that we have a dell hba 330 mini card uh, the firmware version is checkmark okay. I don't really know what that means. Uh, under here, it does say logical connections. And so this might allow you to look at some of the other devices. Okay, so now you can take a look at some of the uh, drives that are connected to that. Let's see if I can expand on this and does it tell me anything more. Yeah, so it looks like it collects some information from those drives. I can see whether it's SAS or SAS. It's in non-RAID because this is an a HBA. It gives me the vendor and product ID and serial number uh, and that it's connecting uh, the speed is six gigabit per second. So these are SAS2 SSDs in there. All right, so yeah, it does give me some information about each individual individual drive. So that's basically kind of OMSA in a nutshell and what you can do with it. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. We've installed the Dell um, DSU repository in CentOS 8. I've shown you how to use that repository to install the Dell system update tool as well as OMSA and uh, kind of gave you a quick guide of how to use DSU to update your system and what type of stuff you can see with OMSA and what it kind of basically does. All right, anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed it and liked it, please give me that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you like this sort of stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you'd like to support my channel, check out my eBay store. I'll leave a link down in the video description below. I've got all sorts of server goodies for your Dell servers as well as other brand servers. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.